Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. I am disappointed in myself, family, friends, and colleagues. Femi Fanikayode apologizes to reporter. Uh, well, this is very sad, quite sad. Um, most of us must have heard what happened to Femi Fanikayode, a former minister of aviation, uh, during the time of... Um, Good luck, Jonathan. He was the minister then, and um, something happened recently. He's quite a quick critic of Muhammad Buhari's administration. The likes of him and Runo Umokri will not keep quiet where there are things affecting the life and properties of Nigeria. They are people who are known to speak into the political space and who constantly, you know, chastise Buhari, especially with leadership of the country. Recently, he committed a political blunder that, um, you know, Nigerians are finding it hard to forgive him. And even the reporter, when he called a meeting for reconciliation, boycotted him and did not really show up. Um, Femi Fani Kayode has been one who has been speaking. And most times, more often than none, he speaks, um, he's like a critic, yeah? So he speaks to make sure that... Um, to bring a balance into the political space. But the actions he took recently is quite unfortunate because one has to watch his temper, character, and what have you, because it doesn't matter the height you've attained or things you must have gotten. These little things, they are things that can bring a man down. It's like somebody who is well fully dressed, all white, just imagine. Perfect makeup, shoes, everything new, perfect perfume, everything. But guess what? Just a little stain around the chest or the butt area can, you know what? Everybody will leave how beautiful the earrings, the gold chain and all that you've got on. And the focus will be on that little spot. That's why we need to be very careful and mind our disposition, especially in public. By the way, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe. Femi, Femi Fanny Kayode is apologizing. Let's get on with the news and get all the details. I am disappointed in myself. Family, friends, colleagues, Femi Fanny Kayode apologizes to reporter. A former minister of aviation, Femi Fanny Kayode, on Friday apologized again for his verbal assault on a reporter of Daily Trust. Ayo Charles. He had earlier apologized to his friends and the media for the assault on the journalist. Femi Fayekayode has described the journalist as very stupid as a, at a round table held with journalists in Calabar, Cross River State, on August the 20th. At the forum, Charles has asked the ex-minister if anyone was financing his store of states. He felt offended by the question and branded the journalist as very stupid. Following the backlash generated by the insult, the former minister again apologized at a press briefing held in Uyo Akwaibom. Femi Fanikayode said he disappointed himself and everyone else. He said, I am deeply sorry for the manner I reacted to the said reporter. I was so Hurt. I was so hard on him and I felt hurt at the end of the day. The question was misguarded, but I fell for it. I should have comported myself more orderly. I should have been smarter than that. I should behave myself no matter what, even in the face of criticism. I'm using this opportunity to reach out to him and I hope he will be kind enough to forgive me. I disappointed myself my family, friends, my colleagues, and even my houses and my bosses. Those of my household know that I'm not a person like that to show an outburst of anger. Those who know me have also spoken about the incident. I regret it was not my finest day. No leader or public figure should ever behave in that way. Again, I say I feel deeply sorry and I regret my actions. I will never behave in such a manner again. Well, that is um, a statement of deep reflection 
calling for uh, forgiveness. I mean, to her is human, to forgive is divine, is a popular saying. And um, I think we should please forgive Femi Fanny Kayode. We all, you know, most people have got their moment. And um, when it happens, just pray. It doesn't happen in a place that could tarnish or mar uh, one's image, you see. So Femi Fanny Kayode was only asked a simple question at a press briefing. Uh, because right now what he's doing is going on a... Uh, is it is not world tour yes it's a national tour yes it's going from state to state all over the country all over the uh, 36 states of nigeria you know to discuss some issue with regards to politics and what have you and in one of those places in akwa ibom uyo he uh, journalists were there at the press briefing and they asked him a question which he fell for i don't know at what state of mind he is that day. there was what we call transfer of aggression so it might be that he had been offended that day. Probably you don't know what it is. He might have gotten a phone call or a beloved one has quite said something quite upsetting. And you know, the trigger buttons are already popped up waiting for a moment. And I think this man just fell for it. He's calling uh, to apologize. And I think everyone with a heart should please forgive Femi. Yes, forgive our brother. Femi, you know, said it was, it was not his finest day. It was not his finest moment but we must not capitalize on what has happened now and forget about his achievement he has been a man of reputable character who has constantly spoken to bring a balance especially to Buhari's administration with oppression on the for human regarding human rights and the human being generally I think it's high time we let it go uh, the journalists that uh, I mean this has been done to uh, Femi is saying he's sorry and I think you should please forgive him uh just you know let bygones be bygones you could also have your moment and you will need somebody to you know forgive you you see so please uh we know that it, he has not behaved in a professional manner whatever the case may be and we want to say please forgive femi fanikai or day he has publicly apologized and that is i mean that's humbling enough you know i'm not saying what he's done is right but to err is human, but to forgive is divine. There is a way you offended and you take the offense. If you're not careful, you become the one on the offense. You become the one on the other side. You don't want to do that, you know. He has not only apologized to him in secret, he has also come out in the public to apologize and to say he's deeply sorry, uh, you know. Nigerians, I would like to hear your comments with regards to our brother, Femi Fanikai Ode, who has come out publicly to say, yes, I behave in a way that i'm not proud of i'm truly sorry uh, it was not my finest moment as much as that is not an excuse however it has happened and uh amends have to be made and um, this is what femi fanny Kayode is doing well i would like to hear your take on the matter please don't forget to subscribe god bless you for us is bye for now